Can I get the enhancements back from this one? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, but I have a lot of those, so it might be fine. Okay, let's change our outfit. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> I like the, the vine pattern. him because he's near here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it looks a bit too fancy for out here, I would say, but it's... Uh Still looks okay. It's that. Oops, wolf pain. Okay. Where was that down? Okay, it's down there. map, I have an indicator on my min mini map up there. So, let's follow that. See the neckline here? No. Uh, mm, I think it is only in conversations you can see that. Where is he? He forced Trish to teleport them both to Edern. No! The Squirtel in Edern will pay for my stupidity with their lives. Elias, ready the unit to march. You'll leave immediately. Damn it. Why ever Edern? The Pontar Valley is a juicy piece of meat beset by hounds. The soil is hard hardest. It's our land. Our forefathers' land. I'm no bandit. You can see the line there. Great army. Damn it. <laughs> Hensolt and his army have pitched camp on the right riverbank. The Virgin and a sorceress gather reinforcements to defend Edern. Which sorceress? Philippa Eilhart. What's a Redanian sorceress doing in Edern? Only she can reveal that. And you plan to be king? King Yorbert I? I've already told you. I know the head the ground would fit. We merely have to place it there. Whose head is it? 
One who believes in integrity, honesty, and honor. A person who won't sell out to Nilfgaard for a few florins. A woman named Saskia. Is she your fiancé? Don't mock me, Gwynblade. It sounds like she's more important to you, not just a woman whose head would fit the crown. You'll understand once you meet her. Soon the whole world will hear of the Virgin of Edern, a woman blessed with extraordinary courage. Has she proven her courage, or is that just talk? She defeated a dragon. It sounds like you want to establish an elven state. There is already an elven state. Dolblathana. Francesca Finderbear rules there. Rules? She merely carries out Nilfgaardian orders. We want a truly free state, where an elf could visit a human inn, a land where humans could enter the forest without fear. What does the leader of an army expect of me? That you accompany me to Edom. Perhaps you'll find your sorceress there. You'll certainly find someone who will soon change the balance of power in the north. There was a massacre in Flotsam. The streets run red with your brethren's blood. I know. That's why I need your help. You want me to murder humans at your side? I wish death upon every one of those one. But that's not the point. Upper Edern is our goal. That's two days' travel on foot. You'll never make it in time. I have a plan. What plan? First, you must agree to help us. I need to know more before I decide. No, Vatgen. You helped me with Leather. That's the sole reason we're speaking. We may both be pursuing the same son of a bitch, but I haven't forgotten the company you arrive in. Make your choice now. I'll let you go if you refuse. I couldn't do that later. <sighs> so, do we run back to town and talk to Roach and try to get his perspective or do we go with Yorvas? Uh damn it. Hmm Kind of tempted to go with this. Yeah, but the problem is, I kind of already know that. Thing is, um, in the first game, I sided with the elves, or the Skyatel, um, for um, the reasons that. They were just. They looked more um, like they had kind of the right to fight for their lives and stuff like that. But it's it's not the not always the case in these games. It's, and both in most games and most Witcher games, um, first one as well. This one so far as well, and what I've seen from the third one, definitely there. Um, it's not black and white. It's always grey and both decisions are kind of um, bad, I would I say. Know, but I need to take care of something first. Be quick. I shall wait. But let me talk to him. Yorvith awaits you. Yay.
Ah, okay. So she died. So I couldn't talk to her anymore. Yeah, that's a bit sad. Oh yeah, that's in town. Isn't there an entrance here? Oh, okay, it doesn't really matter. Ah. If there's a damn snare around, I walk into it. Every time. As a result, I'm walking around with a lot of snares, but um, I'm also getting hurt, which is not so nice. up slightly here. Okay. Vernon's waiting inside. Hmm? Is your hatred towards the square itself some sort of revenge? You don't know me, Geralt. Human or non-human, it makes no difference to me. We were chosen to fight the Scoia'tael, and that's the mission we pursue. To me, the Scoia'tael are but bandits hiding out in the woods. If there were humans among them, I'd kill them in a flash just the same. 